Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, um, advice, and following on the heels of my previous uh, video with respect to <clears throat> Moses and his sensitive, sensitivity and empathy, I am reminded of the story of um, Harav uh, Chaim Ozer Grodzenski. This was a great Talmud scholar of, of pre-World War II Europe, a real goggle, great man. His Torah knowledge was exceeded only by his love of his fellow Jews, Ahavas Israel. He was a great, great man. And a story um, will bring this out about his sensitivity uh, to others. Um, he was walking along the street in the town. He had a, f a few of his students with him. And a man came up to him and asked him for directions. And not only was uh, Rav Chaim Ozer willing to help him, he actually walked with him. And uh, Rav Chaim Ozer was a bit of a frail man. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't this big healthy guy. He walked along with the man half hour, 45 minutes to the other side of town to show him the way and took him to the very door he was going to. During this time, the students said nothing. But afterwards, they questioned him. And he says, why don't you just give him the directions? You know, why, you know, why did you... At the worst that could happen, he'd, okay, he'd go around, he'd ask somebody else, like, why'd you do that? They were genuinely puzzled. Because, as I said, he was, he, was rally, he was quite frail at the time. Rav Chaim Moser said, Didn't you notice that the man stuttered? Didn't you realize that he had a severe speech impediment? If I had just given him directions, chances are, in a little while, he'd have to stop and ask Someone again, didn't you realize, didn't you see how embarrassed he was? Haltingly trying to ask me a simple question? He'd have to ask someone else and be embarrassed. And perhaps ask a second and a third person and be embarrassed again. I would be the cause of that embarrassment. So rather than put him in a situation where he would be embarrassed, I would take and put myself out of the way to help him, to take him to the door, to spare him that humility, take the man to his, uh, uh, to his destination. Um, it's these incredible little sensitivities that truly mark a great man, a Godel Hador, uh, a great person of the generation. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel. And thank you too much.